Look at all the people in the stations taking yeah, our picture. Is, this is always a head turner. So when was this car built? This car was built in 1923 by the Cincinnati Car Company. 1923. So this car is almost 100 years old. It is. We're coming up on its centenary. Who thought to save it? Well, CTA did immediately after its retirement. This long, car? This car. Long before the Heritage Fleet was a formal program that CTA created in 2016, this car was selected for preservation in 1974, a year after it was retired, because CTA uh, recognized that this and a few other pieces of equipment were worth saving. And so CTA's had it uh, and actually maintained it and periodically operated it since yeah. that time. I love this. Look at this uh, nice um, arch here. I mean, there's a little uh, a little elegance to the car, yeah? There was. I mean, there was definitely a sense of craftsmanship to the cars in their construction and trying to make them visually pleasing. And these cars, this specific group of 4,000s from the 1920s, represented an evolution in that comfort. Uh, earlier cars just had bare light bulbs, but these have uh, lampshades on the lights. Nice. Uh, the handholds on earlier cars were just leather straps, but these are porcelain handholds. Porcelain? Porcelain, uh, which they did largely actually for health reasons, because they could be wiped clean. Yeah. Um, so you have the vintage ads all around, right? We do. We have vintage ads from throughout the life of these cars. So back to the 20s and 30s, as well as ads from the 40s and 50s. I got to go back to that, 1973. These trains are still running. Yes, they, they had a very, very long life. Tell me about your uniform. So I'm wearing the uniform of a conductor um, or perhaps a, a collector or other type of uh, personnel who would have worked the train, either operating the doors or collecting fares on board. Uh, and this dates from the 1940s, uh, from the Chicago Rapid Transit Company, one of the CRT. predecessors. Yes, that was an emblem of the Rapid Transit Company. Have you driven this train? I have. What's that like? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a very different experience than operating an L car today. Um, the biggest difference is the fact that it has air brakes. Oh, here, I just heard them. Yeah. Right, it was, that was the hiss on cue, uh, which means you have two different handles to manipulate. One operates the motors and the other operates the brakes. Whereas today there's one handle and it's all electric, so it all works in concert automatically. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy was like, what? This is a piece of Chicago's everyday history. People rode this to work, to play, to family, to recreation. And it's a, a glimpse into the past of what Chicagoans did day in and day out and how they got around the city. I don't want to distract the driver, but uh, John, toot the horn. <laughs>